Okay, disconnect the negative battery terminal, get the air cleaner up and out of the way. Okay. Disconnect that, and then it's right there. Just disconnect that electrical sensor. All right, so let's pull it, pull that out, and then use. Okay, pull that out, and watch out, this is very, this is high voltage, and then this part pulls out. There we go. And then, there's a, A little faster. So get that fastener off and you can pull the whole thing out. Okay, seven millimeter, one fourth inch drive. Let me get back here. Oh. And we'll loosen that. Oh. Okay. Alright. Oh. We'll loosen that bolt. There that is. There's the numbers, type those numbers in the search engine, and you can find the part you're looking for. All right, now it's time to install it. Okay, it turns out that this is um, a, an ignition coil part number 96BB-18801-AA. This part is made out of um, a polybutylene terephthalate PBT, and that's a thermoplastic engineered polymer that is used as an insulator. So this part right here is an insulator for your ignition coil because there's a lot of voltage in there, so it's got to insulate. It's got to insulate that voltage. So that's what this part is. Couldn't find it on the computer. All I could find was a bunch of gibberish. People not knowing. Uh, what the heck this thing is as I don't know what the heck it is until I researched the part number right here and then right here is letters and numbers indicating what it's made out of I just typed that in the search engine and that's what it polybutylene terephthalate I guess a lot of parts are made out of that thermoplastic but yeah so I'm gonna go install this and that's where the electrical part goes in right there and it just, it's an insulator. It's electrical, electronic device. Yeah. Okay, it is windy, so it's time to put this part back on. And there's where it goes. So I'm gonna screw it back into place. And that's, I mean, in theory, that sounds like a lot of fun. And sometimes it can be. Putting fasteners back on, taking them off, putting them back on. It can be fun. It can be fun at times. And searching for all the tools and whatnot. That's fun too. You gotta get all the parts right. There's 30,000 different sockets you gotta use on a car. All kinds of engineering delight. So we got that on there good. Good enough. And then it's a matter of putting this back on. It should click. Listen for it. It clicked. That's amazing. Now it's time to button this back up. And by button, I mean connect it back together. Usually you push in a metal piece right here as you're pushing it in. But this metal piece right here 
It is a little goofy. Look at it. Look how goofy that is. So I'm just going to push this in as I go in here. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What's going on? There's a piece of plastic in the way. Oh, look at this. It's trying to come. Look at that. Oh, it's broken. That part, that part right there is broken. Ain't that amazing. Anyway, we're just going to get that out of the way. And we're just going to gently... Come on. There we go. Let's snap it back in place. And it should be on there. It should be on there. I think it snapped. Alright, that's on there. That's on there. And now all you gotta do is put the air cleaner back on. Beautiful air cleaner. And put your beautiful battery. I got the filter off and everything because I want some working space, you know what I'm saying? And then put a nice, clean, fresh battery in there. Don't forget to go play that. And yeah, good times. Good times. Thank you very, very, very much. Very much.